Gentlemen, I'm told you were most unreceptive to my associate's requests. I realize you do not look kindly on the Confederacy and her ways, but if you refuse to pay the ruby tithe, your safety in these waters cannot be assured. Spare me your concern, Pike. Your feeble attempts at extortion will not work on us. You remain at large because we allow it. Because you are such insignificant little pests that we see no need to swat you. But if you wish to risk the ire of the Viceroy, by all means, fire upon an Imperial vessel. Give us a reason to bring the full might of the Guardian Empire to bear against your pathetic feet. Bastards! Gentlemen, surely the fact that you have such limitless resources at your disposal gives you all the more reason to spare some few coins for the less fortunate. All talk, just as I think. Come, let us away. I have no time for this rubbish. Savages to be ruled or right. There. They've always balked at paying the ruby tithe, but they were never so eager to pick a fight. The problem, you see, is that many of my comrades in the Confederacy are of Doman descent. And the acting Viceroy, well, she's none too fond of Domans, to say the least. If we take any action to hinder the safe passage of an Imperial's of the Empire, which we can ill afford to be, like the man said, we're all tall. And where did the Cojan stand on all this? With the winning side, of course, then mercenaries to a fault, eager to offer their services without coercion. The Shellback could tell you more, though something tells me he would rather on I don't understand. If the Guardians are causing the Confederacy this much trouble, and if so many of you are doming to begin with, why aren't you willing to fight back? <laughs> Spoken like a true friend of the Doman Liberation Front. If you're planning to rouse us with noble words and grand promises, don't bother. We all know what the Imperial Army can do. Compared to them, we're boys with boats. Besides, what ties a man may once have held to his home are forsaken upon joining the Confederates. We look out for none but our own. Be that as it may, our livelihood is under threat. And the captain will need to decide soon whether we're to go down in a blaze of glory or bow and scrape the crumbs from the Emperor's table. All while, our friend the Viceroy continues her purge of Doma's radical elements. I believe she's holding court in one of the fishing villages even as we speak. That she-devil! Her perfidy knows no bounds! She must be stopped! Come, let us find Solomon and put us here at once! Tell the others that these ones have paid. We all have places to be. 